Gotta save some for the bros. Pour a little drink in your cup, or you could drink how it is. Hey, it could get you real lit. Hey, or it could be for the kids. Hey, it's not life, not life. Who's hype? We got the juice like K juice, give you a little boost like. Taste good, put you in the mood like. Whoa, whoa. Might gotta sew my robe. Gotta save one for the road. Gotta save some for the bros. Whoa, whoa. Might gotta sew my robe. Gotta save one for the road. Gotta save some for the bros. Hello. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Welcome to KG Season hey. 4. Hello. What's up, Freddie Foule? Okay, got you in the building. Yeah, again, my name is Freddie Foule. Um, on social media, everywhere you can follow me at Freddie Foule. That's F R E D D I E F O O L A Y. From Philly. Um, I grew up in Southwest Philly, but uh, I went to school in the Northeast. I would say I'm from the Northeast. I had to pick a place. Um, I'm a jack of all trades, but really like I'm I'm in the music production. I write music. I'm an artist. Uh, I produce music and uh, curate a bunch of different creative stuff. Um, I'm a student. I like to say I'm a student, and I'm a hustler. Right? Oh, I got an independent record. <laughs> yeah, you really the jack of all <laughs> trades. <laughs> I didn't know you produced. Yeah, I mean, I produced some some cool stuff for like other people, like here and there. Oh, okay. like, but I haven't I haven't like got no major placements yet. Like as far as original music, mm -hmm. it's my production or like a collaboration of me and somebody else. Okay. You know what I'm saying something like that. You no, know, K Juice, independent, black on, you know, homemade juice brand. K Juice. You heard she, premium she beverages. Juice. She make this juice from scratch and she got mad flavors and stuff like that. I'm good, bro. How you been? Bro, I've been chilling. Goes fucking on Tasha. I might need a Tommy gun for all the hate. Pushing the genders every single day. Living relentless all because of faith. I had a vision since a little baby. I saw the equity over the fame. I was young, so they act like I ain't know the game. Flipped the change, made a change with no middle man. That's for short, yeah, yeah. I got a vibe on them, yeah. Apply the press, yeah. I got wives on them, y'all move like a vet, yeah. I got style on them, put the plot in effect, yeah. See the disguise on them, I got my foot on their neck, yeah, yeah. I'm a rider, whoa, for the death. Like a natural blend, like, somebody, like, I, I, I like stuff that tastes more natural, though. Like, some people might like it, like, mad sweet. Mm -hmm. I ain't on that, like. I feel like it's a natural blend. Oh yeah, this is gonna be tough when you add liquor to it because liquor, mm -hmm. all, especially like white liquor, it tastes way better like when it's a natural juice. It's not gonna be as prone to a hangover with this either. Because right, because it's, it's a natural like, drum. Mm -hmm. It's not extra it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up, yeah. Frankie? Get like, what's up, my my dude? How you feeling? It's live popping right now. They just coming and going. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's start the game. Oh, I bet. Right. This about so, to be crazy, y'all. Two truths, one lie. Now, these questions are going to be cages related. Okay. Um, let's see how well you know it. All right, bet. All right. Let me get some Just so y'all know, if I get the question wrong, I gotta drink tomato juice. When was K Juice founded? What year? Two thousand and twelve. 2013 or 2015? 2012, 2013 or 2015? I'm gonna go with 2015. Ooh! Ah! I'm gonna give a round of applause. We got it right. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. And speaking of 2015, um, could you just give me a brief uh background when you started rapping? Okay, I started rapping like actually in 2013. Oh, for real? Yeah, 2013, I started, like, really rapping when I was in high school, like, mm -hmm. my junior year. Yeah, I was in the music, though. Like, I went to I went to creative and performing arts high school, so I was a percussionist. Like, I played drums and stuff, but, like, everybody at Kappa is a multifaceted I artist. I forgot you. Everybody that went there, like, do mad shit. Like, everybody do everything. So, like, one of my homeboys that was a drummer, he, uh, he, w he would always send me, like, he would always show me like these covers he did, like Drake songs and like remixes and stuff that he was doing with his homeboy. And I would just be like, dang, that's hot. Like, I wish I could rap. And then <laughs> one day, like, we had a math project in, in class. Mind you, I was failing this geometry class. 
So like my my teacher was like, if you do a project like that's based around your art form, mm -hmm. I'll pass you. So if I nailed the project, then she was gonna pass me. So we ended up doing like we ended up remixing like niggas in Paris, but about mm. geometry. So all the lyrics in that joint was about geometry. Like that shit was crazy. And when we played it, everybody was like, oh this shit actually hot. Like it was just it was wild. And once I did that, I realized like if I could write about this, I could write about anything. I started writing whenever I got the chance and I just started like pushing myself like and that was that was it that was it from there. Like I didn't I didn't really slow up from there. So what did you get in your grade? Oh I got a I got a I got a B plus in that oh, class. Man. Yeah, I ended up getting a B plus. Right. So. Second question. Okay. When I started in twenty fifteen, mm -hmm. how many people were a part of my team? Four? Two or zero? Okay, so Mr. Freddy Foule said zero. <clears throat> that is a lie. Damn! That is a lie. Oh, man. Alright. This is a bad job. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ew. Uh, ah. That's not even like ketchup. That's like marinara sauce. You feel Ew. what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so the answer was two. Two? Okay, that makes sense. Um, so, one of my favorite songs, actually, you do kind of touch on how you was from Southwest. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and uh, explain that bar, that line. Okay, so um, I, it's that's that's the family feud, feud freestyle. And I'm, basically, the line I talk about how, uh, you know, it's a lot of violence in Southwest Philly. Um, when I was growing up in Southwest Philly, I, like, vividly remember, like, waking up in the middle of the night hearing shootings and stuff like that and that's when i was like a, a, a little kid like before I, I turned 10 and stuff so like whenever i think about um growing up in south philly while i was there for the time that i was there i, I think about the violence and how like mm -hmm. most of the time the reason i did get bust out to northeast was because like it was so violent in my neighborhood you know oh, what I mean? okay so i grew up in south in southwest i lived around woodland Ave, like right by like not too far from Penrose Plaza so I lived on uh, 60 68th and Pasco if anybody from Southwest know that area you know what I'm saying you right think living like growing up in Southwest like kind of do you think it affected your music in any way or influenced your music in any way um yeah because I, I draw inspiration from my environment a okay. lot of the time like I don't just I, I definitely tell like my stories in my mm -hmm. music but I also tell like stories of my environment and like okay. you know situations that like people really go through and stuff like that so if even if even if i don't make the connection myself in a song like it just like the song like the beat or the music or something like that i might just be walking down the street and, and everything i see around me inspire me and i i start writing in my True. head or on the phone or whatever that's real artistry right like there real artistry. okay so now you said you were a jack of all trades um, so, but, like, what is your main passion? Really producing music, okay. on, like, on an executive producer level and uh, composing and, like, um, arranging music. Like, okay. Af a after, like, I put out a bunch of albums, I guess, mm -hmm. like, I really want to, like, go into um, film scoring. Film scoring? Yeah, like, I want to score films um, oh. and basically, like, come up with soundtracks for films and stuff like that okay. and curate play like you know all types of stuff like that so like a lot of the times when I do music like my history and music has always been like a collaboratory a collaborative process like I normally collaborate with people um recently I've been like just on my own type time but normally like I'm really like into collaborating and um working with other artists and like seeing how like what's the like trying to pull out the the most raw and the, like the, the the most high quality version of that artist in their music you know what mm. I'm saying so like whenever I'm in a studio with artists that's what I'm doing like not just for myself but for other artists too and producers that's why I like I like to collaborate with other producers when I do my own music mm -hmm. because like I like to when you pull in when you pull in that that like that raw and that rawness out of somebody like you get a a, a refined form of the, the art that they normally do already it's like I remember like uh, Dr. Dre was saying like when he worked with artists or whatever he always 
pick their brain and see what they like and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that's how he like, you know, get that quality out that artist that they would normally have. You know what I mean? That's the kind of stuff I'm into, like as far as like producing music and even when I write my own stuff, like I'll re edit and rewrite stuff over and over again. I like I got multiple versions of mad songs. Mm -hmm. Because I'm always trying to like pull that most refined version of it okay. out. You did what I mean? I think that you are like really high. I like that you are a big lyricist. Like yeah. I'm big on stuff like that because, like, you know, I'm into managing. Mm -hmm. Like, I like people that are actually saying something, which is kind of hard to promote because, you know, like, people in 2019, I don't know. Like, you could be catchy and still be deep, and I think mm -hmm. people don't get that. Definitely, like, a fine line. That's, like, how I go about writing. Yeah, I don't think they get that either. Yeah. Well, put them deep. <laughs> whoa, 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 my gotta slow my roll. Gotta save one for the road. Gotta save some for the bros. Whoa, whoa. Might gotta slow my road. Gotta save one for the road. Gotta save some for the bros. You're in hot life, not life. Who's hype? We got the juice like. K juice, cute little boots like. Taste good, put you in mood like. Got the juice. Whoa, Might gotta slow my road. Gotta save one for the road. Gotta save some for the bros. Drink in your cup. Not like, not like, who's like, we got the juice like.